to be here. Howdy doody YouTube, uh, my name is Bertha Camel. Um, today guys, um, new angle, kind of cool huh? Oh, we're on the other side, hey, howdy doody. Um, sorry, just having a little experiment, experimentation today. I'm going to film a bunch of videos, uh, probably take a shower later on. You know, doing the usual YouTube shenanigans. Um, Actually, just trying to get people to watch my videos. Oh, is my microphone on? Better check that. Sorry, guys. Be back. So I'm really angry, guys. Just did this whole really good intro and microphone wasn't even on. I think I'm just going to complain to the Apple Store, to be honest, because, you know, if I plug something in, it should work. I don't... I shouldn't have to go into settings and... Oh, see, now, I don't even know if this is working because I can't hear in these headphones, so I have to start again. Sorry, bye. It's okay, guys. Um, Microphone was working in that last one. <laughs> I've been watching some of these kind of popular but mediocre YouTubers. A bit worse than myself. Um, there's a girl called Zoe, and she does beauty. Now, I could do that. I think I'm going to do some beauty today. Now, to be honest, I'm quite beautiful already. Um, don't really need any reconstruction. I've got a nice forehead. I'm gonna uh, give you a makeup tutorial today. Long-winded video, you know. <laughs> All these people just saw my July favourites and went, "Oh, Bertha, I'm gonna look like you." Um, and I said, "Golly, all right, let's do that." That is all of my makeup. Basically I'm just going to give you a, a makeover tutorial. Um, maybe you could look like me by the end of this video. Alright guys I'm back. Um, I've got my hair out of the way. It's very important when you're doing makeup to look as good as myself. So it's a bit bad lighting but hopefully you can see the whole process. So first of all, when you're doing makeup, you need some foundation for your ugly ass face. This is uh, Top of the Line Rimmel Wake Me Up Foundation. I've got my brush. Just going to take off my glasses. I can't actually see what I'm doing at the moment. So um, you just need a little blob, just a bit like that. Focus, focus, focus. Those under eyes because you're ugly you know you can see the difference between my natural skin tone and the foundation hey guys i'm just doing a voiceover here um oh don't have much time left i'm just putting the foundation on my face as you can see and uh okay, yeah so now you just dab it just give it a good dab um just wipe it all over your face like it doesn't matter if it doesn't rub in in circular motions because obviously you know you want to have you know those cool spirals yeah there we go we've got a nice pasty look um bit of a skin blemish there um they're always good to keep never blend your foundation in with your neck you want to you well, you want to stay a little bit natural you want to show the world hey this is me, but not really. So just look at that. The great thing about this product is that the lid distinguishes what the colour you'll end up like. So um, I only put a little bit on. So right now, this next bit um, I've noticed a lot of YouTubers do. It is bronze. It is contouring your face, so I've got some bronzer, um, a bit of an unknown brand, I presume, because there's no branding. Oh, Target! It's a bit pimply looking. Don't know where that came from. When you're contouring, you need a nice, whatever this brush is, and you have to aim for the cheek bones. Now, cheeks don't actually have bones, so I'm just going to go this one right here. Okay guys, I'm back. I'm just going to do another voiceover because, you know, just too busy contouring as you can see. Um, Yeah, just make sure the bronzer is extremely...
extremely dark compared to your natural face and your foundation because you, yeah you want to distinguish um, now you've got to put some uh, bronzer where you'd like your beard and just in the middle of your forehead where you get the most so pimples. Now you look like a starfish um, and yeah you just blend that in. The method is just rub it all over your face as much as possible so it actually overpowers the foundation. Next we've got some blush. Now funny story actually I sat on this once um, hence why it's a bit crummy. You just go under where you have contrasted so Now at the moment I know what you think you're going, oh Bertha you look like a clown with your contrasting, con contouring, however that's not the case, um, I'm not finished, but now we're up to eyebrows. So here is my eyebrows, um, since I don't have eyebrows, oh I've only got half an eyebrow there, I do tend to have to draw them on, this is the, what is it? Prof Professional eyebrow pencil from Rimmel, and it's the number two Hazel. And I mean, you can brush your eyebrows, but they're not knotty, so you have to draw a square, square, and then a bold, uh oh, bold eyebrow shape like that just color it in yeah see already guys you can tell you know I could go audition for oranges and new black with brows like these uh, but would they consider me with that no and then just give it a bit of a curve which is what I'm doing kind of like a rainbow I like that and you just repeat you can even draw a little smiley face. It's just a little eyebrow art. There you go. Now we get to the Color Couture eyeshadow. I love this brand. Um, very well known. I'm going to go for the light blue and then um, go into a bit of an ombre kind of like a, the black I think. For that you just need a dirty um, eyeshadow sponge. The convenient thing is that I don't actually have um, eyelids either. I just I just have this to work with. So um, in that lower layer we'll go with the light blue. Flip this side over to go in the black section. That's going to go on the second layer. And the great thing is it goes from light to dark to a bit lighter. Go up to this eye bone here. I've gone a little bit over. Just wipe it off. Um, and then you can just wipe it on your clothes. The cool thing is I'm going to do the opposite for this eye. I'm gonna go black first. I can't see what I'm doing. I can't wink with this eye. Alright so now I'm doing some eyeliner. Um, liquid eyeliner from Glam Eyes from Rimmel again. Um, top brand, better than MAC. Okay, so just applying the eyeliner <laughs> and going a bit fast, Bertha, slow down. <laughs> you can't go that fast. Nice. Cat. Cat. Cat eye. And do the same for the other eye, which is a bit more tricky. Also, I can't close this eye, so I can't. Uh oh. 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 Bollocks. Oh, cripes. Just do it better than that. Just put it on the lower lash line and make sure you have an open mouth. It, um, it helps with the look. And it's very difficult to blink. It's a bit sticky. Um, that's the Revlon Bold. Lacquer. Make sure you don't close your eyes because they will seal. Now the piece de resistance, the lips. Um, outlining my lips with this Color Couture lipstick 
Um, it's a bit wobbly. Um, so someone's taken a bite out of it. You have to go a bit grandma lips so you can get all the way around. Did that quite well. I, I swear by this colour guys. Um, it's just a fun pink, flirty, you know, and then we'll just um, contrast it with this darker lip. And this is the Colour Cultural Lip Gloss 7.5G. Uh, so the highest generation. I want to show your teeth. Um, if you're showing your teeth while puckering your lips, you're doing a good job. Yeah, oh. Oh no. Um oh, now my lips look I don't know, like Chloe Kardashians. So now you're ready for a night on the town and Wow. And this is your final result. <laughs> Are you in dark lighting? Um, there's my cheeks, my contouring. Go up to the eyes with the cat flick. Very popular at the moment. And my eyeshadow. Um, the brows have really created a smoky effect. Bit messy with this one, but if you look, it creates a T. And of course, the famous lips. I hope you enjoyed my makeup tutorial, guys. I think it went quite well. I mean, Jesus. So thanks for watching my video, guys. Make sure to watch all the other ones. And yeah, if you like this video, just <laughs> well, that's a first. <laughs> Bye, guys.